friends, what's up? This is our k 360 Reader. Right now, I'm going to talk about the best rated apps for iPhone and iPad. If you are on the internet, then you have probably heard of Reddit. It classifies itself as the front page of the internet, and that's a pretty accurate statement. It's one of the most popular websites in the world, and where a lot of news and internet memes begin, since it's just hundreds of forums and message boards in one place. I have been a redditor for many years now, though most of my time is spent lurking rather than posting. The website is also my least favorite way to browse because there are so many apps out there that make the overall experience so much nicer. If you also belong to the same school of thought, then these best reddit apps for iOS and iPadOS are for you. That all being said, let's dive right in. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. Apollo is a personal favorite of mine because it is one of the best Reddit apps out there. Apollo is a simple and beautiful Reddit client that's fast and packed with a ton of powerful features right from the get-go. You can quickly navigate through your subreddits with a jump bar, check out all kinds of entertainment with a fantastic media viewer, several different themes that can switch automatically depending on the time of the day and much more. Even composing a post or comment is pretty straightforward with full markdown support and you also get the option to add full in your albums and uploads in line with your post and don't get fooled by a rick roll again because apollo's media viewer gives you thumbnail previews of images and videos before you open them What's more, you can also support the amazing and responsive developer by getting Apollo Pro through in-app purchases. This unlocks a ton of additional features like app icons, filters, and blocking capabilities, and much more. It's highly customizable with many settings and tweaks. You can't go wrong with Apollo, that's for sure. Another good option is Narval. In fact, it's what I used for a long time before Apollo came into the scene. Narval is a fast and simple Reddit client that packs in a lot of information on the screen in a single easy-to-read glance. The app is also heavily gesture-based since the developer built it with iOS in mind. It also carries an aesthetic that definitely feels like Reddit. Narval is free with an in-app purchase to unlock additional features such as icons and more extras. However, the core features of the app remains free. Reader is another pretty solid alternative, though it feels a bit bare bones as compared to others. With Reader, you just get a lightning fast, no frills experience. The app will load up the front page quickly, and you can easily jump to whatever subreddit you would like to view. You will also be able to view all kinds of media with the gallery views, and there are also article previews, so you can make sure an article is worth clicking on. Do know that Reader is available for free, but if you want to unlock all the goodies, you will have to upgrade to the premium version. For those who want a fresh approach to Reddit, then Slide is worth checking out with its material inspired design. Slide features an interface that is unlike any of the other Reddit apps and it looks gorgeous. When you launch the app, you are asked to choose one of four beautiful themes and a display view. The card style is unique and allows you to smoothly view full previews of images and videos as you scroll through your subscriptions. You can always change the look later to fit your own preferences as the app supports complete customization. This means the colors can be changed to whatever you want, and there are a lot of other settings that you can tweak to make the app yours. It's worth pointing out that there is also a slide pro for $5 which unlocks a number of cool features like multicolor mode, more base themes, auto night mode, username scrubbing, anonymous account names, and more. Last but not least, Beam for Reddit is designed for browsing Reddit 
beautifully. With Beam, you just get a simple yet elegant interface that's designed for simplicity and speed. There's even a media browsing mode where you can view all of the images posted to a subreddit in a gallery form with no text to distract from it. There's also support for night mode, multiple accounts, multi-reddits, passcode lock and more. All of this can be used completely free, though there are tipping options if you choose to support the developer. That all being said, Beam is one of the best free Reddit apps for iOS and iPad OS. That's pretty much it. So these are the best Reddit apps for iPhone and iPad. Now that you have known my top picks, it's time to share your favorites and I'll see you in the next video with more such helpful app roundups. Till then, have a great time. Bye-bye.